Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. This is our daily lectionary readings. Today's daily lectionary readings are for Thursday, July 13th, 2023. With being Thursday, we are now looking forward to what is going to be happening on Sunday instead of reflecting back. Our psalm reading thus changes. Psalm 65, 9 through 13 is the psalm reading. Our Old Testament reading is in the book of Isaiah now. Isaiah 48, 1 through 5. And then our New Testament reading comes from the book of Romans chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. We're in the message. Let us listen in to Psalm 65. Oh, visit the earth. Ask her to join the dance. Deck her out in spring showers. Fill the God River with living water. Paint the wheat fields golden. Creation was made for this. Drench the plowed fields. Soak dirt clods. With rainfall as harrow and rake, bring her to blossom and fruit. Snow crown the peaks with splendor. Scattered rose petals down your path. All through the wild meadows, rose petals. Set the hills to dancing. Dress the canyon walls with live sheep. A drape of flax across the valleys. Let them shout and shout and shout. Oh, oh, let them sing. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 48, verses 1 through 11. And now, listen to this, family of Jacob. You are called by the name Israel, who got you started in the loins of Judah. You who use God's name to back up your promises and pray to the God of Israel. But do you mean it? Do you live like it? You claim to be citizens of the holy city, you act as though you lean on the God of Israel, named God of the angel armies. For a long time now, I've let you in on the way I work. I told you what I was going to do beforehand. Then I did it, and I was done. And that's that. I know that you are a bunch of hardheads, obstinate and flint-faced. So I got a running start and began telling you what was going to happen even before it happened. That is why you can't say, my God idol did this. My favorite God carving commanded this. You have all of this evidence confirmed by your own eyes and ears. Shouldn't you be talking about it? And that was just the beginning. I have a lot more to tell you. Things you've never knew existed. This isn't a variation on the same old thing. This is new brand new, something you've never guessed or dreamed up. When you hear this, you won't be able to say, I knew that all along. You've never been good listeners to me. You have a history of ignoring me. They saw a track record of fickle attachments, rebels from the womb. But out of sheer goodness of my heart, because of who I am, I keep a tight rein on my anger and hold my temper. I don't wash my hands of you. Do you see what I've done? I've refined you, but not without fire. I've tested you like silver in the furnace of affliction. Out of myself, simply because of who I am, I do what I do. I have my reputation to keep up. I'm not playing second fiddle to either gods or people. Our New Testament reading from the book of Romans chapter 2. Verses 12 through 16. If you sin without knowing what you are doing, God takes that into account. But if you sin knowing full well what you are doing, that's a different story entirely. Merely hearing God's law is a waste of your time. If you don't do what he commands, doing, not hearing, is what makes the difference with God. When outsiders who have never heard of God's law follow it more or less by instinct, they confirm its truth by their obedience. They show that God's law is not something alien, imposed on us from without, but woven into the very fabric of our creation. There is something deep within them that echoes God's yes and no, 
right and wrong. Their response to God's yes and no will become public knowledge on the day that God makes his final decision about every man and woman. The message from God that I proclaim through Jesus Christ takes into account all of these differences.